Now, rank 10, level 1, and welcome back to Kerbo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Duna Incubator's Habitat mod, which is being made by form user Duna Colonist. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is some really interesting new habitat modules for you to build with. So let's uh, jump into the VAB and have a look at what we do get. Now, I should mention right off the bat here that this is still very much a work in progress. In fact, this is a pre-alpha release of the mod, but it's on the space dock, and, well, frankly, even in its current early state, it has some pretty interesting parts that I see a lot of potential in, and that's why I wanted to look at this. So let's have a gander at the first of those parts, and that is in the ground category, the Duna Habitat Leg, which is, well, a landing leg with an impact tolerance of six meters per second. Not a whole lot to go over there, but if we pop it on, you can see it's uh, just a basic structural sort of landing leg. There's no retraction to it or folding up or anything like that. It is just a rigid leg for you to prop up your habitats with which is always nice. Now, the rest, rest of the parts that we currently have is down here in Utility, and the first one we'll look at here is the Duna Bridge, which is basically a small structural part to connect the different habitats to one another, and that's really all there is to that one. Now, if we then move over to the Duna Habitat, really, I'd say the main part in this whole thing, it has a crew capacity of up to four Kerbals. It is a fully functioning science lab and does have a battery holding a 50 electric charge. And all in all, a pretty nice a giant looking thing. Now, we also have a smaller Duna Vestibule, which it also does hold four crew members, so in a much smaller space. It has a uh, battery of 150 electric charge, and this one does have a science experiment of the typical crew report. And we have a very similar part in the uh, Duna Bio Generator, again holding up to four Kerbals, has the crew report, and another 150 electric charge. So let's pop these things on and take a look at them in depth so we do have this uh, bridge piece here uh, like I said just a basic structural bit for you to attach your different habitats to as you can see it does have attachment points on it so you can then hook them to these things which you know just makes things a little bit more convenient now one of the rougher edges about this right now is attachment point wise it is a little awkward on occasion, uh, especially on these sort of oddly angled surfaces we have on the habitat, the vestibule, and the biogenerator. So you're probably going to have to do a little bit of a rotating adjustment to get it to look just right. But again, pre-alpha release, hopefully that does get tweaked down the road. Now, as for the main parts of this, the different habitats, the Duna habitat is just... Oh my god, look at how big this thing is. It's glorious. And holds for four Kerbals inside. And that is quite a lot of room for your Kerbals. Now, sadly, at the moment, there is no custom interior. So it's using the, um... Oh my god, why do I always forget the name of that thing? Uh, the... Oh boy, let's... Oh, there we go. Open that up. The Hitchhiker Storage Container. It's using the same interior as that. Why do I always forget the name of that part? And otherwise, you know, you do have a number of good attachment points on this thing, both on the top and bottom, as well as five along the sides for hooking two other modules, which is quite convenient. Now, we then also do have uh, the Vestibule, another nice one there. Much smaller, though still holding four Kerbals, which is a bit surprising. Hopefully that gets tweaked, because frankly, it's not much bigger than the lander can down here, but you're shoving four Kerbals in there? All right. Now, sort of the intent for this one is to be the service entrance and airlock, as the description says here. And the habitat is, well, a habitat slash science lab. So that's sort of the point of having these two things, but still having the crew capacity within them. And then the final part, the bio generator, a very similar, of course, it's kind of just a flipped around model of uh, that basically just using all the same things 
but you know, it has its own purpose that isn't fully implemented yet. One of the things coming down the road with this mod, according to the mod page, is integration with various life support mods. It currently doesn't have it, so this is basically just another thing to hold for Kerbals, but with this description of five greens a day keeps the doctors away on Kerbin, it's probably going to be some sort of food generator for when the life support mod integration does occur, which will be pretty cool. And hopefully we see other ones of these little habitation modules for different purposes as well, which would be quite nice. But even without that, it's an interesting little part and holds four kerbals for you to move things around. It's got a lot of fun potential there. And I just like the design of these things. The nice metal plates everywhere with all the bits and bobs bolted around. And of course, it gives me a D&D &D feel because it makes me want to pull out my gaming dice. But hey, that's a completely separate matter. So let's go take a look at what you can do with these things out in the world and head on actually over to Duna where I popped one of these on the surface earlier. And let's go over to that and launch. And I should also mention another thing here. There are no uh, prerequisites for this mod to work currently, but there is a recommendation of ground construction so that you can, of course, you know, build these things in situ rather than launching them up. So that is always an option to do there. Not a necessary one, but, you know, a recommendation. And I really do like the looks of these things. Even even the kind of weird landing legs. They look the part for Duna as if they are some sort of sci-fi habitat for your Kerbals. And plus, with the unique shapes of these things and those bridges, you know, you could actually make some interesting space stations or ships out of these things too. It's not just relegated to habitations. I just can't wait, hopefully, for eventually when we do get the life support integration and when we maybe, perhaps, get some custom interiors again. It's just barring the currently in-game vanilla ones, but it would be pretty cool to see some unique things in there considering the unique shape we've got. I would especially love to see the main habitat one because I'm just intrigued to see what that large of a bulbous habitat would actually look like. I think that would be pretty cool. So hopefully we do see those down the road. But even for the time being, it's just a nice little pack of some interesting parts. So if you'd like to have a look at this for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next. But until that time, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.